Hello, so today I would like to talk about the base rule. The base rule is a very important but at the same time a very simple rule in probability theory. So here is a general scenario. Suppose that I have two events A and B and suppose that I'm interested in probability of B given A. Uh, but I don't know what that is. What I uh, have is probability of A given B. So the question is, how can I use probability of A given B to obtain probability of B given A? To do that, let's uh, remember the formula for conditional probability. Probability of A given B is equal to probability of A and B divided by probability of B. So from here, I can conclude probability of A and B is the same as probability of A given B times probability of B. Now, uh, I just want to rewrite this equation, just uh, replace A and B. So I obtain probability of B and A is equal to probability of B given A times probability of A. And note that these two are equal. You know, a, and a and B is the same as B and A. The intersection of A and B is the same as the intersection of B and A. So these two are equal. And from here, I can conclude, I can obtain probability of B given A. Probability of B given A in particular is equal to probability of A given B times probability of B divided by probability of A. Right? So that's it. That's the base rule. As I said, it's, uh, you know, it's very simple, but at the same time, very, very important. Now, it turns out uh, uh, very often when we are using the Bayes rule, uh, we use a specific form of that. So suppose that B1, B2, and so on, is a partition of the sample space. So uh, remember, a partition of the sample space is a collection of sets B1, B2, B3, and so on, such that their union uh, is the entire sample space and they are disjoint. And specifically, if we have a partition of the sample space, we discussed the law of total, total probability, which states that probability of any given A can be written as the summation of probability of A given BI times probability of BI. So that's the law of total probability. Now, suppose that I'm interested in the probability of bj for some j, j could be, I don't know, 1, 2, 3, and so on, probability of bj given a, what I can do, I can use the Bayes rule, right? I can use the Bayes rule here. So this is equal to probability of a given bj times probability of bj divided by probability of a. And because I have the law of total probability, I can write, you know, I can use the law of total probability to uh, write probability of A as this summation here. So I can write probability of A given BJ times probability of BJ uh, over summation over I probability of A given BI times probability of BI. Again, this is just another format of writing format for the Bayes rule. So let, let's summarize everything that we discussed here. So here's a summary. Uh, the summary says that for any two events A and B, B and of course where probability of A is non-zero because we are conditioning on uh, A, we have probability of B given A uh, is equal to probability of A given B divided by the uh, times probability of B divided by probability of A. And that's the base rule. Now, a specific case is a case where B1, B2, B3 is a, a partition of the sample space S and A is an event, uh, any event. Then uh, we can write probability of bj given a, you know, the numerator is the same as before, but denominator, this is just probability of a. As, uh, this is just applying law of total probability here, as we discussed. Okay, so here is an example. I have three bags that each contains 100 marbles. Bag 1 has 75 red and 25 blue marbles. Bag 2 has 60 red and 40 blue marbles. Bag 3 has 45 red and 55 blue marbles. And I choose one of the bags at random and then pick a marble from the chosen bag also at random. And I observe that a chosen marble is red. The question is, what is the probability that bag 1 was chosen? Okay, so I suggest that you solve this problem before watching the rest of the video. 
Okay, so let's look at the solution. So let's see what we have here. Well, first of all, there are three bags, so I'm choosing one of them, right? So it's, it looks like this is my entire sample space, and you know I'm, I either choose bag one or choose bag two or choose bag three. So let's B1 be the event that I choose bag one, B2 be the event that I choose bag two, and B3 be the event that I choose bag three, and let R be the event that the chosen marble is red, right? These are the events that we are interested in. Now, what do we know in the problem? Well, we know bag one has 75 red and 25 blue marbles. So we know if we choose a marble from bag one at random, the probability that bag one, that marble is a red is basically 75%. So probability of observing a red marble, given that we choose bag one, is equal to 0.75, right? Similarly, probability that I uh, observe a red marble, given that I choose bag 2, is 60%. And probability that I observe a red marble, uh, if I choose a marble from bag 3, is 45%. So, this is what we know. But what is the, what is the question? The question that we need to answer here is that, we observe, uh, we know that uh, the event R has happened, right? The question is, what's the probability of B1? So we are looking for probability of uh, that B1 uh, happened, given that we observe the red marble. So we are interested in probability of B given R, but we know probability of R given Bi's. So let's use the Bayes rule, right? So uh, we can write probability of B1 given R is equal to probability of R given B1 times probability of B1 divided by probability of R, right? So uh, here I'm using the base rule. So this is true because of the... Okay, now remember uh, here, again, this is one of the scenarios in which we have a partition of the sample space b1 b2 b3 i'm you know i'm choosing one of them and exactly one of them so these are the partition of the sample space so to find probability of r i can use the, the law of total probability so we are using the second format of the bayes rule remember this format of the bayes rule so this is equal to probability of r given b1 times probability of b1 divided by summation of over i just move this a little bit probability of r given bi times probability of bi and then we are, we have all of these numbers probably you know bag one had 75 uh, red marbles so this point seventy five percent probability of b1 is 1 over 3 i'm choosing one of the bags at random similarly all of the probability of bi is equal to 1 over 3 and uh, you know we, we we have the probability of r given bi so this is equal to 0.75 times 1 over 3 uh, again uh, so let's put i equals 1 probability that i choose a red marble from bag 1 is 0.75 percent times 1 over 3 the second term in the sum is 0.6 1 over 3 and finally 0.45 1 over 3 and uh, if we do this calculation, we obtain that the probability is, I believe, 5 uh, over 12. So that is the answer. And again, all we have done here, we have used the Bayes rule uh, and also uh, the second format of the Bayes rule. You know, we have used Bayes rule and law of total probability together. Okay, thank you.